Great people of God, great greetings to you. For you know the name of the Lord. Bible said any man that will confess that Jesus is Lord will be saved. Great people, brethren, I am here to ask some questions, please. I am not trying to cast anybody or, or you to mistake me. The question I want to ask is this. Why our great people of God, men of God, bishop, apostle, pastors, those that has um, big churches, why are they not preaching salvation? Majority of them are only preaching money, money, money. Prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. In a single church, you see a church will give offering like about eight times before dismissing. No, I think this is not it. We are getting it wrong. This is the right time to, pro to propagate the gospel. Salvational word of God. This is the right time to preach about repentance. Men are going astray. Too many people who are falling apart. Please, I would love you to join me and tell the world the gospel of our Lord Jesus. Because soon and very soon, our Lord will come to take us home. There is nothing you made in this world that will join you to heaven. Your money, your houses can never join you to heaven. You see, every damn thing you call wealth you have in this world, even cars, you can see some of them can do anything because of mammon, mammon. No. Please, I beg of you, teach us how to number our days, for we are living in a perilous time. We are living in a world full of danger. We are living in a world that we can no more understand. What we used to see in those days are no more what we, we, what we are seeing now. Why can't you tell them that the heaven is real? How fire is real? One of these great men of God, I was watching it in a Facebook, in the Facebook. This man, somebody asked him, Bishop, why are you not preaching about heaven and hellfire. He said they were not permitted to do that. Why? Why are you not permitted to, do, to preach about heaven and the hellfire? Start doing it now. You see all these big structures, none of them will, will last forever. Every new thing you see today, give it a little time, it will become old. There is no new thing under this planet Earth that will last forever. Your life is a, is a beautiful thing, but it can never last forever. Your wealth is a good thing. It cannot last forever. You only build a house. That means you have paid rent for the rest of your life. You know, but it will never last forever. If Jesus studies, give you some time, you see young people will grow and build the one that is built more beauty than, beautiful than your own. That is why you don't have to boast with what you have. What you have is called vanity upon vanity. Jesus is coming. The trumpet of the Lord is sounding to your ear, telling you, repent today, for tomorrow might be too late. Repent today, because prophecies in the Bible is coming true. One man said that Bible is not the word of God. It's not true. Remember the prophecies in the Bible? That Bible prophesied about 666. And he mentioned where places the, the number 666 will be placed on. On the right hand or in the forehead. What is happening today? People are taking it. And when you take it, it means you have condemned yourself totally to everlasting death, eternal death. My dear, Jesus is coming. Prepare yourself now. Tomorrow might be too late. My name still remains 
Paul Mukocha. Please don't misunderstand me. I am telling you the gospel, the gospel of truth, the gospel undiluted. May God bless you as you understand with me in Jesus' precious name. Amen.